kuanza tu kulia na kujiwachiria. Mungu akaanza kunizungumzia kaniambia nataka uanze kuhubiri katika media. Nikaambia Mungu miezi tatu hatujalipa nyumba. Hatuna radio, hatuna TV kwa nyumba. Tumejawa na madeni. Mungu akaniambia niko na pesa za kufanya kazi yangu na ukikubali nitakupatia hizo pesa. Kauliza Mungu hizi pesa zinapatikana wapi na vile nimengangana? Mungu akaniambia hizo pesa ziko na watu. Lakini ukikubaliana na mimi nitakupatia hizo pesa. Nikaanza kujiuliza Mungu nataka nifanye namna gani? Mungu akaniambia niko na pesa za kufanya kazi yangu. Na ninaweza kupatia hizo pesa ukikubali. Mungu akaanza kunifundisha juu ya stewardship. Vile anaweza kupatia pesa sio kwa ajili yako lakini kwa sababu ya ile kazi anataka ifanyike. Nikaanza kujifundisha, nikasoma vile Daudi alikuwa na kiu, akasema kama anaweza pata mtu wa kunichotea maji. You know the king's wish is a command. Mfalme akisema nasikia kama nataka kunywa chai it's already a command lazima mtu akimbie na alete chai so his wish was a command wanaume watatu hata kama kulikuwa na wafilisti wamesimama wakapenya wakaleta maji Daudi alipochukua maji akasema hii ni damu ya hao watu akaimwaga bere za Bwana Mungu akanifundisha that is stewardship alikataa kumaliza kiu chake akamwaga bere zangu Naweza nikupatie pesa ufanye mambo yatakayoniletea utukufu. Praise the name of the living God. I agreed with God. Otherwise I said I don't even have, have anything to lose. Because already mtu ambaye yako na rent ya miezi tatu, hana TV, hana radio, hata usi afadhali zikuje ukaange nazo, hauwezi kufa jazi kiwa hapo. Praise the name of the living God. Kiwa umeaminiwa at least jina la bwana nipewe sifa haleluya ha hata by the way says do not muzzle the ox when it is treading the grain at least siwezi kosa maandiko mawili matatu ya kuona ya kwamba nimelipa nyumba pale otherwise hata nikikataa niaminiwe za mwenyewe na sina zangu sijisaidi so i agreed nikaanza program 15 minutes within 6 months nikaanza 30 minutes before the end of the year nikawa kwa radio mbili nikaingia kwa TV nikaingia kwa NTV tulikuwa tunalipa over half a million nilifika mahali bill zangu za media zilikuwa 750,000 every month na mimi kabla ya covid mimi sikuwa nasimama kuitisha pesa kwa TV ama kuweka mpesa sijawahi miaka tano kwa NTV kwa TV zingine sijawahi because i entered into media through a covenant Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I entered into media through a covenant. Na kwa hivyo nikaona Mungu ananipa hizo program tunaanza na zinalipwa. Baadaye nikajenga TV station na radio station sijui frequencies zitatoka wapi lakini Mungu akaniambia jenga. Nikajenga. Jina Bwana ipewe sifa. Mpaka siku ya leo mimi nimeona Mungu akiamuru watu wengine hata sio washirika Mungu anawazungumzia na wambia, enda perekea apostle Kimani hizo pesa kuna kazi yangu anafanya Praise the name of the living God Kwa sababu gani there is a covenant behind Wakati unatembea na agano na Mungu it is a channel for God's power to bring wealth Praise the name of the living God. It is a channel for God's backing. Shetani anaweza jaribu kupigana na wewe. Anaweza jaribu kupiga biashara yako. Lakini ikiwa established na agano, atafail. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Wana wa Israeli because walikuwa na agano, hata wakiwa Misri, the Bible says the more they were oppressed, the more they increased. Yaani vile shetani anajaribu awafinyilie vile anavyojaribu kuwafinyilia ndivyo wanaongezeka ni wana wa agano hawawezi Praise the name of the living God Hey ha 
hata siku ya leo Mungu anafanya maagano na watu wake wanaokubaliana na yeye Praise the name of the living God. Unasema mimi kama kijana sita jina jisi nitatembea katika utakatifu kama Yusufu. Unaweka hilo agano na unakatalia hapo. Bwana asifuwe sana. Na wewe unatazama kuona vile Mungu atakutengenezea njia mahali ya kuna njia. Hizo njia hazitengenezi tu na maombi na kufunga zinatengenezwa with a covenant of holiness ambayo una sacrifice unasema sitajichanganya na ye Mungu anaenda mbele zako praise the name of the living god akitengeneza njia mahali ambapo hakuna njia watu wanauliza siri yako ni gani tunaomba tunaona tunaomba kama wewe tunafunga kama wewe kumbe kuna chano nyingine ambayo inaleta three face power hata haileti single face inatoa three face praise the name of the living god haleluya inaitwa covenant so mungu anasema ya kwamba hii nguvu ninayowapatia msiseme ya kwamba ni hekima yenu msiseme ni bidii yenu ni mimi nawapa nguvu na hii nguvu inapita kwa agano praise the name of the living god a covenant is a channel. Hata katika ufalme wa giza wengine huweka maagano na shetani. Hata Yesu aliambiwa na shetani niinamie. Niabudu, nikupatie hizi miliki na falme. Praise the name of the living God. Yesu akakataa. Unaweza kufanya maagano na Mungu. Mungu akaanza kupigana vita vyako. Praise the name of the living God. Mungu akaanza kupatia kumiliki mahali wengine walishindwa kumiliki anakuingiza pale anakupatia uwezo wa kumiliki kumbe ni kwa sababu God is always faithful ataweka upande wake jina la Bwana lipewe sifa na kuna wakati mwingi Mungu huwa anatutembelea anataka mkubaliana na wewe two cannot work together unless they agree Praise the name of the living God. Anataka muwe na covenant ya kwamba akiinua hii biashara na wewe utabariki kazi yake. Lakini unajua watu wakiwa chini hawakatai unakubali. Lakini wakati unainuliwa mpaka fungu ya kumi yako unaona ni nyingi sana. Ama unaona mipango yako ya kupanua biashara ndio ya muhimu sana. Unakosa kuweka lile agano. Mungu anasema ile nguvu yote haikuwa ya maombi. Hapana, ilikuwa ya covenant. Na kwa sababu umevunja agano nime withdraw my power. Praise the name of the living God. Unajaribu kufunga na kuomba, kumbe nguvu haikuwa ya maombi, ilikuwa ya covenant. Na umekataa kuweka covenant. Jina Bwana ipewe sifa. Haleluya. Mungu anasema weka covenant ya utakatifu uone vile nitakuinua. Wewe unasema si nimesikia watu wengi wamefanya dhambi na wametubu. Sasa hapa nimewezwa. Utafanya dhambi, utatubu, utasamehewa. Mungu atakusamehe, lakini kile kimeondoka ni covenant. Umeharibu. Samson alikuwa na covenant. Asinyolewe. Lakini siku ile alinyolewa, aliamka tu siku moja, akafikiria atapigana na Wafilisti. Si mimi ni Samson hakuwa anajua ya kwamba nguvu za Mungu zimemwacha kwa sababu nguvu zake zilikuwa kwa sababu ya covenant praise the name of the living god haleluya Mungu anaweza kukubali kutembea na hiyo covenant jina Bwana ipewe sifa kuna nguvu Mungu anaweza kukupatia na akwambie kila mahali utakapoenda nitakutumia lakini hautaitisha sadaka ama nitakuinua utakuwa mwimbaji utakuwa mhubiri mahali popote utakapoalikwa hata ukiulizwa unataka nini usiwahi kutamuka na kinywa chako ya kwamba nataka kiasi fulani ya pesa siku ile utafanya hivyo nitakuacha lakini unajua unainuliwa na unakuwa na mainvitation mingi unaitwa pande ya South Africa, unaitwa America mpaka unaanza kukompea ni nani anatoa dora mingi. 
kumbe umeinuliwa na covenant usiwahi kujiitishia wakikupa chukua wakikosa kupa enda na kwingine utapewa na Mungu aseme usichukue kama Elisha usichukue ya Naman sio kumaanisha Elisha hakuwa anachukua vipawa lakini Mungu alimwambia Naman wamezoea kutoa kwa miungu yao wajue Mungu wako ni tofauti usichukue Praise the name of the living God. Ukichukua hawatajua tofauti yangu na miungu yao. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Haleluya. Wapendwa, Mungu anaweza taka muweke agano na yeye, mukubaliane na yeye kwa sababu ya yale anataka kufanya na maisha yako. Watu wengi wamekataa kuingia kwa agano, pengine kwa kukosa kujua. Na wengine waliingia lakini on the way wakasahau ama wakaachilia praise the name of the living god lile agano walikuwa wameweka na Mungu na wao siju kama umeshai kuona watu mtu ameenda juu akarudi chini na sio dhambi alifanya hata yeye anaweza kuambia mimi nimekuwa mtakatifu but maybe there is an area alikuwa na covenant na Mungu na akakosa kuzingatia that area of covenant nazo nguvu za Mungu zikaondoka juu ya maisha yake. Ninaongeresha wale wote mmekuwa na covenant na Mungu. Gainero hagiaire kanero. Praise the name of the living God. God is a God who renews the, his covenant uh, with his people. May you renew your covenant with God uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, until the Lord I'm coming back. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus nimetembelea mbali lakini narudi tusimame na miguu yetu tunapoomba jioni ya leo rika baganda bashanda baganda rika baganda bashanda baganda rika baganda bashanda baganda rika baganda bashanda somebody declare i connect with the channels of the power of god for my life and destiny for my ministry and calling uh, rika baganda bashanda i connect with the channels uh, rika baganda bashanda baganda rika baganda bashanda baganda rika baganda ba this this life uh, you need the power of god uh, this world is a world of powers uh, rika baganda bashanda the spirit liam is lila rika baganda bashanda Rika baganda bashanda rika baganda we don't wrestle against flesh and blood rika baganda bashanda we wrestle against powers rulers authorities rika baganda bashanda i connect with the power of god i connect you tonight i connect you tonight watu wale wote wako na agano usiku wa leo na kuunganisha na nguvu za agano nguvu za agano Nguvu za agano zianze kufufuka ndani yako. Nguvu za agano zianze kudhihirika. Usichukulie agano ni jambo la kawaida. Usikubalie agano lako na Mungu liwe jambo la kawaida. Rika baganda bashanda baganda. Rika baganda bashanda. Rika baganda bashanda baganda. Rika baganda bashanda. A covenant is a, is a source of power. Rika baganda bashanda Rika baganda bashanda Rika baganda bashanda Rika baganda bashanda baganda Rika baganda bashanda Rika baganda bashanda Rika baganda bashanda baganda Rika baganda bashanda baganda Rika baganda Father remember everyone who has a covenant with you in this house tonight in the name of Jesus everyone who has a covenant with God rika baganda bashanda a covenant of service a covenant of holiness baganda bashanda baganda rika baganda bashanda our god is a covenant keeping god rika baganda bashanda rika baganda bashanda baganda rika baganda bashanda baganda rika baganda bashanda baganda rika baganda bashanda hata kama agano imekaa miaka 10 mungu weka agano 
even for a thousand generation ndio inafanya inchi ya Israeli mpaka siku ya leo inatembelea nguvu za agano vizazi vinaweza tembelea nguvu za agano vizazi baada yako wanaweza tembelea nguvu za agano ambalo uliweka na Mungu wako rika baganda bashanda baganda rika baganda hakuna agano linazeeka kwa Mungu rika baganda bashanda rika baganda bashanda baganda kuna vita unashindaniwa na agano rika baganda bashanda 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 baganda arise our god arise our king arise our master arise our savior have your way tonight in the mighty name of jesus come glorify your name come glorify your name come glorify your name come glorify your name uh, i am going to bring our papa apostle uh, to come and declare the blessing of god upon our lives uh, in the mighty name of jesus uh, this is a light atmosphere for us to receive the blessing rekabaganda uh, bashanda baganda rekabaganda ribabozaya rekabaganda bashanda baganda thank you lord we give you the praise the blessings of god have been released to us already by the word of god by the preaching of the word of god every blessing that you need has been released to you listen to me the apostle has not asked anybody to bring offering here but when he was speaking the word of god you felt touched and you brought your offering here today that is what the bible says in the book of luke chapter 6:38 you see god is already blessing your basket God is already blessing your offering. God is blessing your house. God is blessing your ministry. God is blessing your church. God is blessing your everything. God is blessing your what? Because the blessing, the genuine blessings come from the word of God. Hallelujah. When the word is spoken, people begin to behave as the word says and when they behave they begin to behave as the word of god says then that is the really blessing which you needed from god you don't need any other person let me tell you some, something very special this was a season for apostle kimani this was a season for apostle kimani and i believe this if god gives me a word for the people I am the only person again to release the blessings to the people according to the word of God. Are you understanding what I'm saying? God cannot give me a word and then I ask somebody else come and pray for the people. No. If God gives me a word for the people, it is the same God who allows me to release the blessing for everybody that has received the word of the living God. Praise the name of the living God. Praise the Lord. Are you understanding me? The word of God has been released to us by the his servant Apostle Kimani. Amen. He is the only point of contact in this in this service. He is the only point of contact. He is the one who is a custodian of your blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is a custodian of your blessing. Amen. What what was happening here I've been reminded in 1991 when I came alone and I said God I thank you for the congregation that is filling this house I thank you for the congregation from the east and from the west and from the north and when I spoke like that I saw this picture Hallelujah Hallelujah Thank you Thank you Apostle Kimani for asking me to come and release the blessings of God but again with my it is my humble request 
that as you have given us the revelation of the word, you are the right person to deliver the people with the word of God, to release the blessings of God. My humble request, that's my humble request. Come over. That's my humble request. Praise the name of the living God. I listen from God. I listen from the Lord. I listen from the Lord. Hallelujah. Many times, many times, some visiting preachers come here and then they preach, they have a message for us and then they release the message, they release the word and then they said, we honor you, uh, Pastor Muzomba, to come and release a blessing to the people. I say thank you very much for that honor. However, the one who has started the work, the one is the one to pray to finish the work. The one, hey, hey, the one that has given a revelation, the one who has given a revelation is the same person who has to release the blessing of God to everybody. If you understand me, put your hands together for the Lord and God, Apostle, will, will release the blessing for that blessing. I need that blessing. I need the blessing. Hallelujah. I need the blessing. And all the apostles in this region, they need the blessing. And all the pastors in this region, they need the blessing. And all the overseers of this area, they need the blessing. And you have the blessing for us. So I give glory to God because Apostle Kimani has a blessing for the pastors here, has a blessing for the overcome, the overseers here, have the blessings also for the bishops here. So I'm ready to receive my blessing as well as a bishop in this land. Give the Lord a clap offering. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I am a man under authority. I submit under the authority of our Papa. And I want to declare the blessing of God upon your life. Give me a minute as you remain standing. You know, Peter said, such as I have, I give unto you. It's good to know what you carry, especially as a minister because when God calls you, the Bible says, and this treasure is in jars of clay. There is something that God deposits in your life to go and to give it to his people. Yeah. Praise the name of the living God. I've shared the word of God, but I know one of the graces that God has released upon my life is to unlock destinies, is to release people yes. to become. Yes. 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 Praise the name of the living God. Yes. And surprisingly, everywhere I go, the Lord shows me there are people with a seed of greatness that has not been manifested. I see people who have great potential, but it is dormant in them. Praise the name of the living God. I have done, done tent meetings many times. I remember even when I came here in Dadora, I saw people lifted in the tent. But yes. when they were lifted, I looked uh, I was crossing my eyes, but I could see. Huh? I saw padrocks on their forehead. And they all told me, break these demonic padrocks, locking the potential, the gifting of my people in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. So the blessing I want to raise upon your life uh, is that you're going to become more that God wanted you to be. Yes. And whatever it takes, God will yes. grant it unto you yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Praise the name of the living God. Yes. If it takes a covenant, God is going to lead you into a covenant yes. so that you may agree with him. Yes. If it takes a, an encounter, yes. you are going to receive an encounter Wisdom. from tonight uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh. Praise the name of the living God. If it takes the understanding of a certain mystery Wisdom. in a special way, yes. God is going to open your inner eyes uh, yes. and give you illumination uh, yes. even of the word of God uh, that you may understand specific mysteries uh, that are going Jesus. to help you to unlock your destiny Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want to declare that grace upon your life now. Hallelujah. Some of you here, you don't represent yourself. You are bigger than yourself. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So when God is touching you, he is not just touching you. You are a deliverer in your family. Some of you, you are a deliverer in the city. 
Some of you nations are waiting for you. You are not just representing yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Saviors will come from Mount Zion in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God. And in Mount Zion, the house of Jacob will take their possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. Be led now to receive the grace to unlock your potential to help you to your divine destiny. Some of you have fought many battles. I declare a ceasefire of the many battles. May the Lord take over and fight for you. The forces that have been fighting against you now in this conference of praise and gratitude as it was in the time of Jehoshaphat. May the Lord take over your battles. May the Lord ambush your enemies. Now, the forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. May the Lord an ambush in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be mighty deliverance, Lord, upon your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. I break every demonic padlock, blocking their potential, blocking their gift. Hata kama wengine walinenewa, na watu wenye mamraka, wakaraaniwa, wakafungwa. Hata kama wengine ni vitu vyao, vili chukuliwa. Pesa zao zika chukuliwa, zika tumika kuwafunga. Kuo zao, zika chukuliwa, zika tumika kuwafunga. Usiku wa leo, oh my God. Bibiria inasema, hawa ni watu wameibiwa, wamenaswa katika mashimo, wamefungiwa katika magereza, wamekuwa mawindo, na apana asemae, lejesha, ninasimama kwa mamraka, na ninatangaza, warejeshewe, magereza ya funguriwe, watolewe katika mashimo, watolewe katika mashimo, kama josepa, wengine wametupwa na matatika mashimo, na dugu zao, na dada zao, na watu wanao wajua na kina tangaza watolewe sasa watolewe sasa watolewe na kubu zako watolewe kwa kimi ujiza in the name of Jesus 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 koriba shanda baganda ninajua nina poomba nina ongozo wa narom takatifu na hata kama ni mtu mmoja kuna mtu ninanenea kuna mtu ninanenea kuna mtu roho wa Mungu ameona oh my god rika baganda bashanda rika baganda bashanda baganda rika baganda bashanda baganda naelekeza maombi haya kwa huyo mtu mmoja rika baganda bashanda rika baganda Aliyewe kwa katika mashimo atolewe Aliye fungi wa gereza Reka baganda I break every demonic caging Somebody receive an encounter tonight Receive the touch of God tonight In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Mungu wamekwenyesha maono makumwa Rakini kida umetoa inje ni kidogo sana Ninatangaza Nisa usa pingwa Hauta suiriwa Kuna nguvu Mungu anaweka ndani yako. Hizo nguvu, hizo nguvu, hizo nguvu Jesus. Ezekaya akasema, "Huu ni kama wakati watoto wanafika kuzaliwa, lakini hakuna nguvu ya kusukuma." Oh my God! Naajiria nguvu za kusukuma kila maono. Dio! Shakaba ganda, utazaa kile unabeba. Utazaa kile unabeba. Utazaa kile unabeba. Imefika wakati wa kuzaa na wengine hamna nguvu. Wengine mmedhofika. Wengine mmefinyiliwa. Sasa ninatangaza pokea nguvu ya kusukuma. Ya kusukuma. Pusha. In the name of Jesus. Hautakufa na mtoto atakufa. Katika jina ya Yesu Kristo. Katika jina ya Yesu Kristo. Katika jina Yesu Kristo Asha kama ganda Uzikate moyo Umefika wakati wakuza Hautaza upepo Utaza wakofu duniani Utaza wakofu katika jami Utaza wakofu katika muji 
utazaa uokovu katika taifa hiyo hautazaa upepo hautazaa upepo umelia miaka mingi shaka maganda umekuwa na utungu he shaka maganda weka maganda mazia weka maganda mazia weka maganda mazia weka maganda i raise the grace to push 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 kila maganda bashanda kila maganda bashanda I hear the sound of travail as soon as I am travail she brought forth yes I hear the sound of travail receive the holy ghost Ush. receive the power Ush. as you travail you are bringing forth that which you carry in the name of Jesus Shaka baganda bashanda baganda Rika 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 baganda bashanda Rika baganda bashanda Speaking that spirit Hati mazina zariwa Zilizo zuiriwa Zilizo fijiriwa Zina zariwa Zina zariwa Utaona kile umebeba kwa miaka mingi Utaona kile kilifanya mungu Akulete katika dunia hii Akulete katika umuji Uzariwe katika taifa hili Dio Mapando ya shetani ya nangolewa Magonjo alio panda Wengine mumezama katika madeni Unatolewa Unatolewa na agano Unatolewa katika mashimo Unatolewa katika magereza Hizo kumuzote ni naziamuru Toka sasa In the name of Jesus Come out and go Go now Go now The God who has led by fire He's our redeemer. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' name. Every demonic padlock is broken over your potential. I unlock your potential. I unlock your gift. I unlock your destiny. While you funga na maneno, I refute every word that has risen against you in church matter. In the name of Jesus. Every curse is broken by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you are free. 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Ni shimo gani Yesu hawezi ingia? Ni gereza gani Yesu hawezi ingia? Alipokufa alienda kuzimu, akamnyang'anya shetani kifunguo. Ni wapi hawezi kuingia? Hallelujah. Anayewekwa huru, anaweka huru kweli kweli. Receive your freedom tonight. Receive your freedom tonight for whoever the Son sets free, he is free indeed. Huduma zinafunguliwa Vipawa vinafunguliwa Wale kazi ya mikono yako ilikuwa imefungwa Hiyo mikono ninaifungua Itashika pesa mingi Hiyo mikono ninaweka nguvu za mungu Hiyo mikono ninaweka nguvu za mungu Kira mikono iliyowekwa nguvu za giza Kuna mikono ushikishwa nguvu za mapepo Hiyo mikono ninaikomboa Hiyo mikono ninaweka nguvu ya baraka Siku ya leo In the name of Jesus Chochote utakachoguza Kime barikiwa Kime barikiwa Kime barikiwa 
Deliverance of your heart. Deliverance of your heart. Deliverance of your heart. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 I give you praise. I give you praise for the mighty deliverance, for the mighty freedom, for the mighty redemption. In the name of Jesus, Sela Baganda, Rika Baganda Bashanda, Rika Baganda. Uli ni tumani kafungue hati maza watu na jamii na miji na mataifa na achiria hiyo neema kila hati mailiko imefungwa kila hati mailiko imesuhiriwa oh my god inafunguriwa usiku wa leo hivyo neema of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit receive your freedom the freedom of your destiny in the name of jesus Open your mouth and say amen. Hallelujah. The vision I saw 1991 has been fulfilled today. Has been fulfilled today. Listen to me, church. He told me to build an altar in Dandora. And I will deliver all the people in the east land, in the east land. Dandora, which was forgotten, today is the blessed city in Jesus' holy name. It is now the blessed city in Jesus' name. Dandora is no longer a dumping ground. For every dirty thing. Dandoro now has become a city of excellency because of receiving the word of God from today. Hallelujah. Many people did not want to come to Dandora because they felt that Dandora was a forgotten place, a rotten place. With the word that God has given unto us today. Dandora has been made a city for the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. If you believe that, say a good amen. I mean, if you believe it, give the Lord a clap offering for Jesus. And everyone in the Eastlands that has received the prophetic word from the apostle. Your life will never be the same again. Your ministry will never be the same again. 
your churches will never be the same again. Everything now has been turned upside down. It's yours to believe it. It's yours to accept it. God just used me to make an avenue for the prophet to come over so that the people who are preaching the gospel out of trouble, they may recover what they have lost many years ago. They may re now receive and recover whatever the enemy has stolen from you. Recover what the enemy has stolen from you. Shout and say, I recover. Come on, I recover. I recover. I recover. What the enemy has stolen from me today, I recover the blessings of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now let me say this. I want you to do what I call a divine connection for your blessings. If you came forward here and you gave your shoes and you gave your offering, that is what I call a divine connection. That is called a divine connection. You connect with the ministry. You connect with the apostle. And then, in the end, you will sense and receive the blessing which you needed over the years. Am I talking something here? Divine connection. It's like you have a mobile phone and it is out of, of power. What do you do it? You charge it. That's a divine connection for that phone. And after half an hour, two hours, the, 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 the mobile phone will be full with the power again. What you have done here already, this is the divine connection I'm talking about. And if you believe that, if you have not done it, yours for the asking it is all yours he came here to bless those who are under elevated he came here to bless all the bishops all the pastors all the overseers and all the members of Eastlands this is now a, wo a well of fresh water for you. We are in a well of fresh water for you today. If you believe that, you can shout to God and say, I am in the well of fresh water. I am drinking from fresh water. I am drinking from fresh water. I can't finish what I want to say before bringing my beloved bishop in this area. Bishop Mabili. I can't finish. It is too much for me. I want to bring here Bishop Mabili, who will close this conference. I honor him. God has used him to gather us all together here as a bishop of the city. Let me repeat. Let me repeat. I don't want to bestow honors upon myself. What Bishop Mabili has done, not many people have ever done that. To gather the people in the Eastlands in this altar. This is a pool of slum. Where there is fresh water, your blindness will go. Full of slum, your blindness will go. Your poverty will go. Uh, death will be paid. You are everything that you don't like. Uh, every blindness shall go. Because you have come to the pool of slum. Once again, I give God all the glory. By giving the Lord a clap offering for what we have received. To give God the glory for what he has done. All the glory goes to God for what God has done.
God has touched us. I'm happy. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be must be every poverty has been removed out of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The first lady of this church get a hold of uh, Bishop Mobile and bring him over here. The first lady she knows herself. First lady, bring your son here. Bring your son here. Among many bishops that I have ordained, among them, among the many bishops that I have ordained, here comes one. Bishop Mabili, who has never ashamed me. He has never ashamed me. He has never played games with me. Hallelujah. Many, many of the bishops that I have ordained, some of them have played games with me. They have sought leadership behind my back. But here is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased here, Bishop Mabili. He is my blessed son in whom I am well pleased. Make a covenant with him today in the name of Jesus. This great work that God has given me here in Nairobi. I pray. I anoint him. I cover him with a mantle of gratitude. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cover him with a mantle of gratitude. He will overcome everything. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release a covenant prayer with him. It's one thing to trust somebody, to give somebody a responsibility. And it is another thing for that person to fulfill that responsibility. Here comes Bishop Mapili, who has fulfilled that responsibility in the name of Jesus. A child is not born by father alone. It takes the father and the mother. Here comes the mother of the ministry, who is also very proud with his son, with her son, Mobili. Shall say one or two, thi two things, and then we will be done. And you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. It is the power of the Holy Ghost that brings the difference. The Holy Ghost power is the source of all your blessings. The Holy Ghost power is the source of your deliverance. The Holy Ghost power is the source of your healing. The Holy Ghost power is the source of what you need from God. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Many of us, we have ignored the Holy Ghost. We are born again. You have a portion of the Holy Spirit within you. But you have refused to be baptized by the Holy Ghost. That's why you have avenues of the enemy attacking you. And every day, demons being cast 
and out of you when you have the Holy Ghost. When you have the Holy Ghost, you will have power to defeat sin. You will have power to defeat sin. Some of us every Sunday, tunakuyapa tunambewa, tunangusha na mapepo, because we are not filled by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shut up, Baba. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. Even in order to obey our leaders. He loves Jesus. He has been filled by the Holy Ghost. That's why he's able to submit to his bishop, his father. Many of us are not submitting because we are not filled by the Holy Ghost. And if you want to stone me, stone me now. Many of us, even preachers, we are not filled by the Holy Ghost. That's why we are rebellious. We don't honor. We are rebellious. Be not filled by the power of the Holy Ghost. And it shall be well with you. It shall be well with your ministry. It shall be well with whatever you are doing. In the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Refill us with your power. Refill us with the power of the Holy Ghost. As the day of Pentecost. Refill us with the power of the Holy Ghost. Rakaba Baba. Rakabo Saka. Asoma has those you desire. Fill them today. Holy Ghost, you don't force yourself to people. Fill those you desire to be refilled by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shut up, Baba. It is well with you. Because you have obeyed. And the Spirit of God is upon you. And you are able to submit to authority. God bless you. You are going far. And those who submit to authority, they are going far. They are going far. I can see the hands are going down. The shouts are not as it was. But I'm telling you the truth of the matter. Those who are full of the Holy Ghost, they'll be able to obey authority. God brought me back to life to speak these words to you. God brought me back to life to speak these words I'm speaking to you today. Don't say it is Mama Sifa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Stand where you are. Stay where you are. Don't move. I read a scripture for you. And then I'll hand over the microphone to my beloved Bishop Mobile. He will have to say what he understands by your coming in this place. That is in John chapter 7 and verse John chapter 7 and verse 37. Thank you, Jesus. In the last day of that great feast, of that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried and said, If any man is thirst, let him come and drink unto me. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of their belly, shall flow rivers of living water. Let rivers flow. Rivers of living water flow. Flow in your belly. Holy Spirit flow in your belly. Holy Ghost flow in your belly. That you will be able to submit as Bishop Mwabili is submitting today. Thank you. Welcome Bishop Mwabili. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's lift up our hands and Hallelujah. magnify the Lord. Give him glory. Give him honor. Just thank him because he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And there is no other God like unto our God. Just thank him for what he has done in our lives. 
in your life individually thank him because of his favor his grace we bless the name of the lord thank you so much papa apostle and mama i'm so humbled to be received here at the altar and i thank god so much for you once again wonderful people of god let's thank god for the gift of god Hallelujah. in our papa and our mama amen to god be the glory to god be the glory to god be the glory thank you so much apostle john kimani william for allowing the lord to use you and obeying the call to the ministry and serving him and thank you for being here today we really bless the name of the lord thank you thank you thank you so much indeed I want us just to take a seat for just a moment. Uh, we are closing, but I just want to say one or two things uh, before we, we release you. So if you can just give us a few minutes, we'll be done in a short moment. You know, it's normally um, very difficult when you're ministering after ministers that are very humble and graced and blessed have ministered with humility. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, the best we can do is just to allow the Lord to show himself strong on our behalf. And I want us to just give glory to God. I want us to give honor to him, even as we come to the conclusion uh, of this uh, meeting uh, today. Uh, there's some, one or two things I want us to do together with um, Apostle Kimani, um, together with all of us here in a short moment. Um, we'll just do it publicly. And uh, I, I thank God for him. There are things sometimes I tell him in private, uh, sometimes it's okay to say some things in public, because I really thank God for the grace on his life. I honor God for what he is doing through him. Um, he is a great blessing to our generation, and indeed God has used him in different ways. I think sometime in July, um, just to echo what he said, sometimes it's good just to testify. Sometime in July, um, are, are some good friends of mine, are one of them, Apostle Julius, I can quote him, he's not here but uh, it's something we can speak in public and he's a friend of mine, so even if you take the message, no problem. Um, uh, I remember we were just talking about uh, the city and um, I told him the city may be a bit challenging, but there's a place I want us to go and see some breakthrough and some things that God is doing. Praise the name of the Lord. And so um, in the month of July, we actually went... Um, to the prayer mountain together with a few of our leaders just to pray and um, meet Apostle Kimani at the mountain. And we just prayed together and um, did something that the Lord put in our hearts to do at that particular time. And then we came back. And um, a short moment from that time, um, Apostle Subi called me and told me, you know, it's interesting that the Lord has opened a door for us to get some land in the city of Nairobi. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, you know, by the grace of God, and um, I'm saying this all to the glory of God, uh, by the grace of God, God has been giving a lot of land in Nakuru and in different parts um, into the lives of his servant as he testified. And so we went to see one of the areas there um, with my team, and we drove four kilometers along the land that God has given them. And praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so it is, it, it is a joy to see what God is doing. And we magnify God for his blessing and his grace. Somebody say amen. amen. And, and I know the best is yet to come. And that's why we need to keep on standing, praying, and believing because God is going to show himself strong. And so uh, after that, we, we began to smell. Somebody says, smell some lands. Yeah, so, so my friend Apostle Subi, they got some land in Karen, uh, just about next to Galeria, which is a prime property. I went there, I knelt there. We celebrated God for that piece of land. Um, and, and, and most of us who live in the city know that getting 6.2 acres of land in Karen is not an easy thing, but it just happened because God opened the heavens. Somebody say amen. And um, Papa will tell you um, that a short while from there, we actually went to Maasai land, and um, we were given a property of 20 acres, you know, to put up a prayer mountain. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. All to the glory of God. Somebody say amen. And then two months ago, Again, another property of 10 acres 
was donated for another prayer mountain. Praise the name of the Lord in Narok. Amen. And there are other lands we are smelling. And I know God is going to be glorified. Amen. But I'm just saying that so that we can give glory to God because to Him alone belongs all the praise, all the glory, all the honor forever and ever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, from where we are, which is the direction of the city? city Nairobi city, point Missouri. So it is this way. Eh? As you can see, most of us are pointing somewhere along my side. But now, let's just point for a moment. All of us, let's just point into the city, including the pointing of Apostle Kimani, because I can point Mahali lands in Achukuliwa. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Declare all the land in this city that belongs to us is now released. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Allow me to request my dear beloved wife to, to join me here on the altar. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you can come. Just come. Just come. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We want to bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Um, there's some gifts we wanted just to present. Some of them are a physical, and we want just to do it here before us um, in the presence of the Lord. And we just want to appreciate God's servant uh, in Jesus' name. So we're going to, to, to request if um, Apostle Kimani would just kindly join us here. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. The first one, thank you, Overseer Oweru. The first one is a rainbow study Bible. The name itself carries weight. So I won't say much. I want us to present this to him as a congregation in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. This one is from Gospel Revival Center. And um, we are just saying we appreciate your ministration during our gratitude festival. Amen. And indeed, we know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. And we celebrate God for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God, amen, and amen, and amen. And then the last one, the last one, the last one is a book that is supposed to be launched next weekend. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. And um, we agreed with my wife that we can actually give Apostle a book before it is launched. <laughs> because of the grace and the mantle that he carries. Amen. Um, it, it's, really, it's really something that we thank God for. Uh, it's a project that my wife has undertaken and she has written this book. It's really a story of our lives. Um, but there are lessons that she put there out of an 11 year waiting season for the fruit of the womb um, because our children were born, the firstborn was born on the 12th year of our marriage and then of course the second born who is walking somewhere on the corridor on the 14th year of our marriage, uh, he's getting confused now, he's disappearing almost, you know, and then, and then um, 
the third and the fourth born were born on the 21st year of our marriage and they are twins and so we are blessed with four children now amen and so it's it's a story of faith and so we said let's present this and say to God belongs the glory forever in this gratitude and praise convocation amen so we present this to you sir amen amen and amen and amen uh, amen to God be the glory amen so thank you thank you so much indeed we appreciate and once again let's appreciate the Lord and thank God for the ministry could we rise up on our feet as we give glory to God as we honor the Lord for the doings of the Lord and the great things that the Lord has continued to do and will continue to do in this season in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah glory to God glory to God glory to God glory to God amen so we are actually coming to the close of our service today and um, we want to appreciate God for what he has done definitely a lot has happened already as we stand here as we worship him as we praise him as we celebrate him so 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 much has already happened in our lives and I want us to know that much more is going to continue happening thank you so much man of God thank you so much man of God glory to God praises to God forever amen and so I would like to appreciate all of us uh, who are here. Um, as Apostle Kimani and uh, Papa and Mama will be going to the office, I just want to ask all our um, overseers and our pastors in Nairobi region, if you could just come and just be here at the front. And uh, we just thank God together uh, for the ministry that we have received today on behalf of all of us. Uh, if I would like, just request all the uh, Nairobi region pastors and ministers and their spouses, if they're here, if you're still in the house, just, just come to the front. I want to just to come to the front. Let's appreciate God for them. But just come and stand right here. All our pastors, all our wives. Amen. Just come, just come, just come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All the pastors from Nairobi region, just come. Just come down to the altar. Just come down to the altar. Let's face the congregation. Amen. God bless, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you uh, with our wives. And um, we want to thank God so much. Amen. And so as um, we release um, the man of God uh, who has ministered to us uh, in this weekend and appreciate God for the grace, I'd like us, all of us as a congregation, I, I know we like clapping and there's a place for clapping, but this time we will just lift up our hands and let them stay up there in the air. You know, it's what is called a yada praise or a chuda praise, which is a thanksgiving to God. It's a picture of thanksgiving. It's a picture of honor to God. It's a picture of surrender to God. It's a picture of saying, Lord, we thank you for your minister. We thank you for his life. We thank you for his ministry. We thank you for the anointing upon his life. We thank you because of the great things you have done and the greater and more wonderful things that you shall fulfill in his life. We thank you for our papa and our mama. We thank you for raising them up for us in this season and in this hour. And we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And now you can put your hands together and clap them to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory, 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 glory to God. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. So we want to bless the name of Jesus Christ. We have come to the close of our service today. And um, I want to thank God for every one of us, all the ministers of the gospel who are here, uh, friends, men, and brethren, uh, all of us who have made time to be here today. I want to thank God for your life, and I pray that your life indeed will never, ever be the same again. May you continue to grow, to break out on the left and on the right, and may you continuously increase and become great and indeed very great to the glory of God 
of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And um, on behalf of my wife, I just want to invite us. I know the, the book will be launched on Gong Road at the home care place in the afternoon on Sunday. And we are all welcome as much as you can make it to come. Uh, Karibu Sana. And you can invite a friend and let's come and worship and celebrate God for what he is doing and what he has continued to do. Uh, in our lives. We also have a praise and gratitude afternoon that day just to give thanks and to magnify God and have an, a Holy Ghost afternoon. So you're welcome for that service too. But others, I want to bless God for you. Please turn to your left or to your right, at least to one individual. Tell them you are blessed for life. Tell them I wish you peace, prosperity, health, wealth, welfare, be well fed, be whole, complete. May you have nothing lacking, nothing missing, and nothing broken. I love you with the love of the Lord. You can only go higher, get better, be stronger, and fulfill your destiny. And let Jesus be glorified. Amen and amen. To God be the praise and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Just in case there's something, a notice that we needed to take before we leave this place, we are all okay. Sawa kabisa. Chairman, kila kitu iko sawa. Praise and worship. Tuje basi. Tushukuru mungu as we prepare ourselves to exit. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Amen. Let's take a song as we bless the name of the Lord, as we magnify God together. Amen. You can bring it to us. <laughs> 